Senator from North Carolina. Uh, Mr. President, I ask unanimous, unanimous consent that the quorum call be dispensed. Without objection. Thank you, Mr. President. Mr. President, I come here today to stand in support of Senate Resolution 8. Uh, my friend and colleague from Tennessee, I thank him for bringing this to the fore and, and disapproving a rule that the National Labor Relations Board has set forth that basically creates what are called ambush elections. No. And that's for forming a labor union. The, uh, the concern that I have with this legislation is that it's just another, what I consider to be, uh, example of the hyper-partisan environment that we find the National Labor Relations Board over the past several years. It's uh, advancing a pro-union agenda. It's a policy that's not necessary, particularly in light of the fact that some 70 union elections with the current policy, 70 percent of, of union elections with the current policy are successful. I guess that the uh, National Labor Relations Board's not satisfied with winning 70 percent of the time. They want to run up the score and allow unionization 100 percent of the time. And uh, many people, when they think about labor unions and they think about organizing, they think about big businesses. But I'm here to talk about the negative effect that this has on the small business, a 50-person operation or a 150-person operation, a business that doesn't have the resources that a big business would have and the information to be able to react to such a short time frame. Today, the elections for labor unions, the median time is about 38 days. The effect of this rule would bring that down to about seven days. It would make it virtually impossible for a small business to respond. Uh, and, and I think make it very likely that a number of small businesses, many of the employees themselves may not want to be unionized, would just be swept up in the very compressed time frame. We've got a, a, several examples in North Carolina. Uh, but. Rather than get into a lot of details, let me just tell you why I don't think that the ambush elections rule is needed. The, uh, the petitions to unionize are already handled expeditiously. As I said, the average vote is about, the median time for the vote is about 38 days. The uh, success rate is 70 percent. 70 percent of the elections that are held allow the employees to unionize. Um, the uh, one example I did want to give you, though, to, to go back to the point that I'm most concerned about the small businesses is a, uh, is a business down in North Carolina, Guy M. Tucker Incorporated, a trucking company. If this rule were to go into effect, it would have serious consequences on this business's operation, and it's one of dozens or, or hundreds that could potentially be affected over time. I think if we just use a little bit of common sense and take a look at the reality that the regulations are working today, I hope that my members will join with me and Senator Alexander and a number of other people and the businesses and employees in those businesses who don't think that this regulation is necessary to disallow this regulation. Mr. President, 